In this video, we'll show you a dynamic SQL statement to insert a new record into your table. And there is a bonus for you that will show you how to make the primary key to be auto incremented and giving a new number each time. So come and watch. Hello there. In this video, we'll continue working on the same project that we started last time. I showed you how to use dynamic select statement to accept some input from the user and then we'll receive some results based on this input. Today we will use the insertion SQL statement to insert a new record into the table and we'll make it as a dynamic statement as well. The parameters can be provided by the user to be entered and then saved into your table. The good news in the future, I will convert this project into a more user friendly by using a graphical user interface. So stay tuned and I want you to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to be notified when this new video released. And now let's jump into this program and let's start working on it. And as you know here, last time we created the connection. By the way, we are using the MySQL database. We explained this in a separate video. I will leave all the videos in this series in the description box below. So there are four videos so far and this is the new one. I will not go over this again, but I will jump right away into the new thing here where we want to start inserting the new record. So let me remind you about the table that we already have here. Let me show you. And one of the tables is the user account. So if we go to the user account, we have these fields. I will leave the link to this database in the description box below as well. You can download and start working on it if you like. And uh, one of the things we have this table for user accounts to be used as a login to the system. So we'll be saving the credentials in this table. We'll talk about the account date later on in a separate video to save or register the time and date of this operation. And now we have the ID and this is the uh, primary key in this table. And to make this ID auto incremented, you want to check this option auto incremented AI it's not artificial intelligence it's auto incremented you right by the way I have a video talking about artificial intelligence if you are interested so I will leave the link in the description box as well this is the interface of my SQL there is a video about that here I will go back to Java NetBeans I will start the first thing to be written here so I will say a statement here insert new record next i will accept input user the new username and password that the user will enter that next here and then the new password the password that the user will enter to be saved and then we'll start using the prepare statement as well to make it a dynamic and this is our object and here is the connection object okay so now let's start entering the insert statement, the SQL statement, and here is the statement. We'll start by insert, the keyword insert, followed by the keyword into, and then here is the user account, which is the table in our database, and then the fields that you want to enter or update. So here we have the username and the password. We didn't do the ID because the ID as we mentioned will be auto incremented then the values that will be entered and here are two placeholders two question marks as parameters to be entered later on to be saved in your database and in, into your table next we will have the statement to dot set to associate the parameters in the insert statement with the variables that we want so the first placeholder will be the username and the same thing here for the second one the second placeholder it will be the password see that so those are the two variables and here are the two placeholders and now we want to associate those together 
and here the first placeholder will be associated with the username the second one with the password now let's execute the statement update and we can write a statement now let's run and as we mentioned that this is the same project that we started with so we build the login part and here we want to enter the username and the password to give us the permission to modify or to add a new record so here is welcome and the username and now we'll enter the name let's say tom and here tom123 what a strong password here <laughs> so here the operation is done as you can see and let's go back to our table and let's refresh and here we can see that this is the table that has the updated record here is the id that is generated by the computer and then this, this is the username and followed by the password see that for now i will leave you with these videos check those videos and do not forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell thank you and goodbye